Loreto, Dinagat Islands, 2023, Part 2. Welcome to my channel, new visitors. And welcome back my subscribers and returning viewers. Just seen Loreto's mini hydroelectric power plant. Our next stop will be at the M&N Mountain Resort, as we continue our tour of Loreto. On right is garbage dump site, according to my guide. But I'm not really sure, I don't see any sign that says it is. Our next stop is at the M&N Mountain Resort. Please click the like button, and share this video with friends and family. Subscribe for more videos, and click the notification bell, so you can be notified with my latest uploads. We're at the M&N Resort, Cambonliu, Loreto, Ginaga Islands. This is the entrance to the resort. Natural stream underneath the entrance bridge. The water looks fresh and clean. M&N Mountain Resort. Fees and cottages rates. We're gonna take a quick tour inside this mini mountain resort. Nice cool environment, I think it's because of its vegetation, plus the adjacent stream. Area for guests to cook or do some barbecue. This is one of their cottages. Resorts pool rules posted on signboard. Here they have a nice kids swimming pool. Over there is the shower and toilet facility. And over here is the video slash karaoke area. Third cottage over there. I guess this is their main swimming pool, with improvised slides. Umbrella cottages next to the main swimming pool. Here, they have some pineapple plants. The beauty of these pools is that, the waters come from the stream, which is constantly running and replenishing the pool waters 24-7. No need for water treatment. That's the resort owner's rest house, and caretaker's accommodation. Over here, another cottage next to the kids' swimming pool. Some open space over here, for guests to roam around. Stream between the road and the resort. That's it. We come to the end of our tour on this mini resort in Cambonlayu. Across the road is a dragon fruit plantation, which is also owned by the resort owner, Mr. Matilun Makanano. 
but it's not bearing fruit yet. Our next stop will be at the reclamation project in Barangay Carmen. On our left is, the Kambanlayu Elementary School. That's the Kambin Liu Day Care Center. Turning right is going to Esperanza. And turning left is going to Paul Blush and Loreto, which we are heading for now to see the ongoing reclamation project. Approaching Kambamu Bridge. View of Hibosong and Polo Islands. This old wooden bridge is quite remarkable. This was built in the 70s yet, it's amazing that for 50 years it still exists. Those are the piers of the new bridge under construction. This old bridge is not only a bridge but, also serves as a boat docking area as you can see. Today is cloudy but, generally a nice weather. As you can see, the sea is very very calm. To our right is the Roro port of Loreto. We're now in Barangay Santiago.
on right is a fruit stand. That's where you can buy a variety of fruits, besides the public market. Ever wondered what this street decoration's for? It's for the celebration of National Heritage Month. And I think they turned it into a competition between Barangays in Pablush and Loreto. Barangays Carmen and San Juan have their decorations too. Now we're in Barangay Santa Cruz. This is the Pink House Inn. This road goes to the Loreto port area. Maboa River is the boundary between Barangay Santa Cruz and Carmen. Now we're in Barangay Carmen. We're driving along Risal Street the main street of Loreto. That's the White House Lodge. On right is the existing Loreto Municipal Building. Next to it is, the Luscon Library. On left is the Loreto National High School. And on right is the Loreto Central Elementary School. Ahead with street decoration is Barangay San Juan. Turning right here going to the reclamation area. By the way, this road is the boundary between Barangays Carmen and San Juan. To our left is San Juan and to our right is Carmen. Road is blocked by contractor's equipment. We're now inside the reclamation area. This reclamation starts from Barangay San Juan and ends up in Barangay Santa Cruz, or Barangay Santiago, I'm not really sure. It's a big reclamation project. Backfilling work on this site gonna be like forever if the contractor has only two or three dump trucks, considering the volume of filling materials required for this massive reclamation project. Let's get some aerial shots, to have the bird's eye view of this project. This project stretches from Barangay San Juan to Barangay Santa Cruz of Pablush and Loreto.
Reclamation project covers three barangays, literally covers the whole beachfront of Pablush and Loreto. Reclamation will end at the Loreto Wharf in Santa Cruz. But I'm not sure, it might go all the way to Barangay Santiago. Behind the trees is the Loreto Central Elementary School. Campus. Just like the bridge project in Cambaleu, there's still so much work to be done before this project will be completed. Brown spot on the mountain used to be a beautiful massive waterfalls, before mining companies ruined the Redondo mountain. Our next stop will be at the Esperanza Spring Resort, Linao, located in Barangay Esperanza. We're on Mabini Street on our way to Barangay Esperanza. Here, Mabini Street becomes I.O. Street. Any reason why we have a 6 meter long gravel road here? This road goes all the way to La Uban, kilometer 2 of Loreto Dinagat Road. To our right is the Seventh Day Adventist Church. Next on right is board member Ali Adlawan's Hardware. I.O. Street ends up on Resol Street, along the boundary between Barangays Santa Cruz and Santiago. Gonna turn right here on Resol Street, on our way to Barangay Esperanza. On right is the road going to the hydroelectric power plant. 13 years ago the last time I visited Loreto, this road was just a dirt road, from outskirts of Barangay Santiago to Esperanza and beyond. So now, it's very convenient for motorists to travel from Loreto to where this concrete road can take you. I hope the road up to Camp and Tac are all paved in soonest possible time for the benefit of locals and tourists alike. To our left is, Stell and Rhine Catering Services and Function Venue, for all or any occasions. Unfortunately, Concrete Road stops here. I guess they still have to build the concrete bridge before joining this road with the bridge. Oh, we're back to a concrete pavement here. I hope this goes all the way to Barangay Esperanza or to Linao. To our left across the sea is the Polo Island.
My guide says, this boulevard here is the pet project of ex-governor Kaka Bagao. Unfortunately, she lost in the last election. I hope the new governor will continue what the ex-gov has started and finish it soon for the benefit of the locals and its economy and tourists of Loreto municipality. We come to the end of concrete paved road. I thought paved road stretches to Barangay Esperanza at least. And it looks like there's nobody's working on this road project at the moment. I see some construction equipment over here, so I guess this road project is still in progress. I hope this project gets done as soon as possible to make road trips for local residents much easier especially during the rainy season. Dirt road is so rough, not good for motorbike riding. With this kind of road, I changed my mind not to proceed to Campentac anymore. So, we'll just visit the Esperanza Spring Resort slash Linau, and Otten Resort which are both located next to each other, in Barangay Esperanza, which is just minutes away from here. On right is the National Power Corporation, Loreto Power Plant. Road is so really rough as you can see. This road will be much worse during the rainy season. Welcome to Barangay Esperanza.
to our right is the Esperanza Elementary School. Ahead on right is, the Environmental Fee Collector. You can't visit the resorts without paying 10 pesos per person. We didn't pay because our purpose was only to take some video of the resorts. To our left is, the Aachen Leisure Garden, one of the resorts here in Esperanza. We'll visit Linau Spring Resort first, then Aachen Leisure Garden, on our way back from Linau. End of this road is the Linau Spring Resort. It's just around 600 meters from Barangay Esperanza. There's the gate of Linau Spring Resort. Finally we're here at Linau, the famed spring resort of Loreto. Okay, we're gonna go and show you around what's in this spring resort. Looks like it's same as before. But wait a second, I see new development over the hill on the right side. Those cottages were not there yet when I came here 13 years ago. Let's proceed to tour around this resort. To our left is, the kiddie pool, same as before, nothing changed or improved. Looking at the water overflow discharge going downstream. I wish they can install real slides made by a manufacturer, to replace this improvised ones that doesn't work. This is the natural swimming pool, with fresh and cool spring water from the mountains. Hence this place is called Spring Resort. Ahead are some of their cottages. The clear water looks so refreshing. Lots of beautiful flowering plants, that originally grow from this area. That building at the end is accommodation for tourists or guests, who may want to stay overnight or longer. This is the dead end. It would have been nice if, we have access to the back of this building, and able to see the view of the mountains, and stream beyond. They can limit where guests could go but, not what they can see especially the natural beauty of the environment. This is what attracts tourists who love nature's beauty. Better yet, build an observation tower, where visitors can go up to see 360 degree view of the surroundings including the fantastic view of Loreto Bay. That's the upper stream where the spring water comes from. New development, on the hilly spot across the stream. Beautiful natural spring swimming pool. 
with clear turquoise water. Here, they have a nice big cottage that can accommodate large group of guests. From here, we're gonna explore the new development on the hill across the stream. By the way, they have built an access stair on the hillside for guests on that side. Resort staff told us, this place is usually full of people on weekends. Linau, is one of the tourist destinations in Loreto. See, these young kids are enjoying their day here, on Loreto's mountain paradise. Again, how I wish this resort have the modern factory made water slides like this ones, guests will surely have more fun here. Let's go up to see the new development on the hill. These are the steps leading up to the cottages on the hill, which I call, the new development. I see lots of umbrella cottages, which is good for couples, or groups of four people. Nice view of the pool below. I wonder why the guard rail they provide are only ropes and not wood or metal railings. This is dangerous for small kids, even for adults if anybody's not careful. This development in this area didn't exist yet, when I came here in January of 2010. View from the uppermost cottage. View from the cottage on the hill. Nice overlooking view of the natural spring pool, and the cottages and landscape across. And the view of the cottages here on the hill. Which is the latest development on this resort. So, ang daghan tao din ay mga weekends. Weekends, Saturday, Sunday. Hmm. Pero karoon kayo summer man, medyo. Oo, oh, kayo. Hmm. Spring. And then, natong taa kong nap ay bisag agiag tao ng ito. Maka, ano ito patas oh, na? Nakita patas sa, o, oh, makakita patas sa. Ika doon linaw. Na? Sa so, taas ito, oh. sir. Napa? Na, asa man lagi. Pero gabi na 
Ay, kabo ka. Kaya ko ay nagbalik ko. Wala. Pero tinigo ulit ko. Oo, tapos sabay ka ba? Wala. 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 Mm. <laughs> Ini Here, we just found a dead cicada on the table. I'm curious, because this is my first time to see a cicada in reality up close. That wraps up our tour on this beautiful mountain spring resort of Linau. See part 3 video for more resorts of Loreto. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. See you on the next. Stay safe, God bless and bye for now.